Hey everybody, welcome to episode three of the Cabin Fever series of videos. Um, today I am going to go back to the old watch thing and I'm going to uh, do a kind of a review thing on the Novus, uh, Novus, Nodus Sector Dive Pearl. Um, amazing watch. So let's go over to the bench and we'll take a look at it. Today's watch is the Notice Sector Dive and this is the pearl color scheme. I saw this online when I got the email from these guys. I've signed up with them and um, I saw this and I was like, okay, I got to have that one right now. So I went ahead and just ordered it right straight away. And I'm really glad I did. This is quite the incredible watch. It's hard to, uh, it's actually for the money. I can't think of a watch that you, where you get more value. Um, it's a, of course, a desk diver type diver watch, which is fine because I'm a desk diver kind of diver watch user. So uh, this is, you know, 150 meters of water's resistance. It doesn't really, you know, of course, it's not your serious diver. But I don't consider it a flaw to be a desk diver, not in, not, and be honest. Um, but it does have the things that make me really enjoy a watch. So I'll get into that in just a minute. But since I've got the page up here behind us, um... You can kind of look at the stats on this guy, and of course it's, you know, 316L grade stainless steel, 38 millimeters case with, and it's, uh, you know, 13 millimeters thick, so which isn't, isn't bad. This thing is, um, it's actually maybe slightly on the smaller side. I would prefer a little bit more with mine, you know, a little larger watch, but... You know, it works perfectly, and I'll give you some wrist shots here in a minute, but um, uh, it's got the NH35 movement, which I I have several watches with that movement, and I have absolutely no complaints. I've really enjoyed it. And um, these guys have kind of regulated their watch and everything so that uh, you get good performance out of it. And I'll stick this guy on the old... Uh, time grapher here in a bit and you can see what I'm currently getting with it but uh, completely happy with it one of the things I enjoy of course is the let's get it uh, blue um, anti-reflective coating you got lots of that absolutely love it and this pearl color in particular is just so easy to read even in daylight um, I, yeah I just yeah, I can't say enough good things about it, really. There are one or two things that I'm not that thrilled with, but um, I'll go through that here in a minute or two. Um, one of the amazing things of this is the 120-click bezel. It has the best bezel action outside of a Rolex Mariner that I've ever, ever, ever seen. It's... Um, it's marvelous. So smooth and easy to use. And, oop, I missed it. Darn it. Okay, OCD. Kick in. Ah. There. Um, yeah, it's just, it's perfect. Um, and the way it feels is just a joy to use. Another thing I really like about it is the, um, the crown. It's got this knurling on here. And it is just so easy it's a good size and it's easy to use um, no complaints there at all and it looks you know it just looks dapper looks good it's a little different it doesn't look like anybody else's dive watch which is a nice thing it uh, you know fits on the wrist like I said it's not a beast anyway I don't remember exactly how much it weighs but not a ton um, it has the uh, one of the best clasps on here. Um, that clasp just looks like money to me, and it feels so well finished. Um, I've been wearing this a little bit. It's got one or two marks on it, but um, it's so well finished, and this, this clasp looks like it came on a much more expensive watch. 
and it just works perfectly. Actually, everything about this watch works perfectly. So, um, if you were, if I were to say anything that I thought really needed to be fixed on this guy, it would be, um, well, you know, I can't say it fixed because part of the, the look of this is the, the bezel, um, you know, being blacked out, it just gives it that very, you know, classy look to it. Unfortunately, the little, the little demarcations here are very hard to see. When I try to time my stakes on the grill with it, I want to go, I want to be able to see when seven minutes has elapsed or, you know, or 10 minutes or nine minutes or five minutes depending on the thickness of your steak. Generally seven minutes for about a, an inch and a half thick steak. I figure you might as well get a pretty thick, wonderful steak. If you're gonna spend the money, get a good one, you know? So anyway, that seven minutes is important and it's hard to see that, especially if you're doing it and it's not like bright daylight, which it never is when I'm cooking dinner. So, that is something that I, I find as a, I can't say it's a flaw, but it's something that I, I struggle with. And the other thing that I don't like is this tiny little minuscule time or a day uh, calendar feature. That sucker is so small, you know, I'm old, so my eyes don't work that great. And this sucker just, I can't see it a lot of the time. It's so tiny. So it might, you know, I'm kind of thinking, why bother at that point? I think it might look better without it. I don't mind having it. I like having a date, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that just kind of drives me crazy, but it's a very small driving you crazy when you consider overall just how wonderful this watch is. And here you can see the loom is actually very, very attractive and just is uh, really quite a joy to to see that. And you do get some day loom with it. This is definitely no sumo, Seiko sumo. It's definitely not uh, going to keep up with my Omega Seamaster, but it provides plenty of loom for your standard usage. I'm perfectly happy with that. There you can see it as um, it's got very accurate time. It only has 0.3 milliseconds of beat error, and it's beating pretty much right on uh, right on zero. So yeah, there's minus two. They fluctuate a little bit. It's not all of them do just a tiny bit, but this looks great. And for $400, are you kidding me? That's you know, that's cost certification kind of stuff. If we move it, um, move it face up. Let's see if it uh, if it makes any difference. Okay, so there it is, dial up, and it's at you know minus one seconds per day, uh, 0.1 millisecond of beat error. Um, you know. Psh you really can't beat that. So for $400, 450 was it? 425 whatever that was. Uh, yeah, incredible watch. If this watch really appeals to you in the, in the way that it looks, just know that you're getting a heck of a lot of watch for the money that you would spend. So there's absolutely no reason to, uh, to not get that guy. I met those guys at the at the wind up watch fair and they were all really friendly and really nice and I liked a lot of the watches that they had but they didn't at that time offer anything that was that really just grabbed me and that I had to buy. I figured that once they had something that I really wanted uh, I would definitely snag onto it because you could tell that the quality on their watches is, is Absolutely excellent.